Hi, welcome to Trinity Music Ministry. And in this video, like I promised, I'm going to teach you guys how to create simple worship loops very, very fast. I want to keep this video as short as possible. Okay? All right. So, what we have to do is to create a new track when we open Reaper. This is the door I'm using. Okay? When you watch my first video, you'll see how to get all this set up. Okay? All right. Good. So, you double click to create a new track. We're going to name this one Shaker. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me drag this. Okay. Yeah. So you call this one Shaker. Please don't mind this one's. Okay. This is this is my microphone. Okay. It's different from what you guys are using. This is my metronome, okay? Good. All right, and this is the piano and the part that we're using as demonstration. Okay, good. So we have shaker. Okay, let's do shaker one. Okay, then we create a new track again by double clicking again. We drag this down. Let me um, let's say shaker two. We may not even we may not even use it. Okay. And let's create a new one. We call this one um, tambourine. Okay. So T A M B. All right. Then maybe we need a triangle. Triangle. Good. Yeah. So the first thing you'd have to do is that. Okay, let me just. Okay, all right. Do this like this. The first thing you have to do is that you have to come here, right click, and make sure yours is set to one eight. Okay, we may be changing this whilst we are coming. Okay, make sure your grid is your grid is on. Your snap to grid is on. Okay, very well, nice on. And make sure your metronome is on. Okay, it sounds like one two. Okay, so that's what's going to give you the timing. And make sure you set this to 50 BPM. Okay, we want to do something very slow. Okay, so 50. You can change it to 60 if you want, 70, anyhow. Make sure here is 4 4, your time signature. Okay, good. So I'm going to drag my samples. Your screen will look like this. Okay, all you have to do is to move here. Okay, you're going to see some numbers up here. You're going to see 1.1002.1003.100. Okay, so all we are trying to achieve is that we want to create a short loop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, one. So we 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 drag here to the beginning. Okay, so you have something like this. All right. Good. It's so like I was saying. Your door will look like this. So drag from the number three back to the beginning. Okay. You left click and drag. Okay. Good. All right. And make sure you turn this on. This is called toggle repeat or the loop button. So make sure it's turned on like this. So what will happen is that when you play, when you press the space bar on your keyboard, it's going to loop. Okay. When it gets here, it's going to start all over. Good. All right. So let's put our sample in once again. So it sounds like this. Good. So we're going to put this back. Yes. And then we click it. Control V to copy. Okay. That's a shortcut. Then you're going to make sure your cursor is here. And you just do Control V until you get to the number three. Good. So you want to bring your cursor back. You just press this arrow. Okay. And let's play through and see how it sounds. We just press on the space bar. You can press the play button here. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. All right. So we have that. Okay. So you can add something else to make it sound nice. Okay. So let's add the tambourine. So we drag it here. And 
this, drag this, and make sure it's like this. And then we see where we can place it. Okay. We have one. Good. So in order to place this, we are going to come back to the grid lines. And this time we're going to do this one. One sixteenth, okay. So there will be more grids, or the bars will be more, okay, for us to do what we want to do. Okay, so we can just put them and see. Good. So we placed it here. Let me count the boxes: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The tenth box, okay, that is where we started, okay, or we kept our tambourine, okay. So let's play you once again. Mm -hmm. Good. So you can also do the same thing. You have to play this two times, so so you can come and start from here. This is our first box from the two, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can come here, copy, right click, and select copy. You get here, then you paste Control V. That's all. So let's play through and see how it sounds. Good. All right, so it's time to add our triangle. Okay, so we just go. So our triangle is here. When you are creating loops, it's all about being creative. It's not compulsory to do the same thing I'm doing. So you can just mess around with what you want or the sound you want to get, okay, or the feel you like to get. But this is just a simple way of demonstrating it to you guys, okay. So I think I would like to have it somewhere here. Came too early, you just drag it backwards a bit and see if it's okay. One, two, three, four, good. Okay. Good. All right. So I think I'm okay with this. I just want to reduce. So you can, this, these are your faders, okay? So you can reduce any of the elements, okay? All right, so I don't think to be, today we're using this shaker, so we just delete it. All right, and that's it. It's gone. So let's play through once again. Yes, and we are done with our loop, as simple as that. So let me just try and play something, and let's see how it's going to sound, my piano and my pad. So let's see, let's play.
Just trying to demonstrate to you guys how you can use the loop to play okay so if you have a computer you can just run your loops like this okay so you just want to start you can just press on the space bar and just start you can end anywhere you end, you want to end by pressing the space bar or stopping the space bar as simple as that okay so this is how to create a simple loop for your worship service as time goes on when you practice more you become very very perfect okay so I think I did the first video and I think some parts of the video was delaying. I don't know what happened after uploading the video and the audio were not in sync. I don't know, some parts of the video and the audio. I think it has to do with an upload issue. So I did this one. So I'll be doing more loops or how to make loops. I don't see these videos on YouTube a lot. And if you want to know more about creating this, you can just chat me in the link below. Then I teach you into details of how to do this very, very well. This is just the beginner level, okay? All right. So thank you so much for watching. And as time goes on, I'll be making more videos like this. And please like the video, comment, and share it. God bless you.